So I'm going to show you how to get the debug mode in Heavy Rain. I'll be showing you how to do it with an emulator and with a real PS3. Back when I first recorded all the footage for the Heavy Rain video, this was like over a year ago, and the emulator, the PS3 emulator, it just like kind of didn't work with the patches. So back then I was using Cheat Engine to like real time modify the memory values of the game and that worked and that's how I did it. But it was like unreliable and like weird. Anyway, so now they've made it unbelievably easy using the emulator to get the debug menu. So all you have to do, you have to have heavy rain, you need the retail version, this is the serial number right here, and it needs to be on version 1.0. You can't have it on version 2.0. You just go up to manage, game patches. It'll ask you if you want to update, so just hit OK. And now it has a list of like every PS3 game ever, and you're just going to want to go and find heavy rain and that version. And look at that debug menu. I already had it checked, but you just check that. You hit apply, save, and now when you run the game. So now the game's loaded and when you press L3, you can see the debug menu will pop up. And uh, you know, we can go and load a chapter. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, locked up a bit. But yeah, you can see the uh, the debug's working, and it's that easy. Like, as long as you have a copy of the game, and your computer's good enough to emulate it, you can just straight up pop this stuff open and start messing around. And it really seems like the game runs a lot better now than it did a year ago. Although I'm curious if uh, I still have the weird texture issue with getting dressed. I guess I'll go check that real quick. Oh, oh, well, well, I suppose that answers my question. I didn't even have to go get dressed. I'm assuming everything's just busted. Oh yeah, you're gonna need a, a PS4 controller to actually play the game on the emulator, by the way. A uh, PS3 controller I don't think works because of the driver situation on Windows, I don't know, but uh, PS4 just works. You just plug that stuff in, no drivers needed, everything just works. I would definitely consider picking up a DualShock 4. It's the best PC controller you can get. Good to go. So let's see. Will he, like, turn black when he gets dressed again? Oh, he flashed. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, oh, yep. He's, yep. Okay. <laughs> they haven't fixed the whole, uh, you know... What would you call that? This looks like a camo pattern from from Modern Warfare 2 that you'd get on your ACR and it would look real sick. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to show you how to do it on a real PlayStation 3. So for a real PlayStation 3, things are a little bit more difficult. First of all, you have to have actual custom firmware installed. I'm on like 4.85 or something. I don't know, it, but my PS3, it's not the... It's not the hen version or whatever the hell that stuff is. I don't know anything about the PS3 modding situation. It's all way too complicated and there's like a million different little like words that they have. I don't, I don't understand any of it. But basically you need custom firmware, which I have. And you should have like a webman mod, this thing, so you can get FTP. And it's also super, super useful for when your PS3 locks up, you can like just restart it. If you ever had Heavy Rain installed on your PlayStation 3 and you updated it, you're going to need to go into the Game Data Manager and delete all the Heavy Rain entries from your PlayStation 3, and you're also going to need to delete your save files, probably. At least that's what I did. And then you need to make sure you actually run the game once on your PlayStation 3, so like let it install and get everything set up and then you can continue on with getting this working. So if you have that stuff and you have a copy of Heavy Rain, let's say you have an ISO of your Heavy Rain game like I did. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is extract this bad boy with like 7-zip or something. So all you do is just open it and then like put these files in a folder. I have that folder right here. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is FTP into your PlayStation 3 and go to your hard drive and games and then you know you can name this folder anything i just named it hr because that's what it's named there heavy rain 
just put that put this whole heavy rain folder into the games folder and that's going to take quite a while it took mine like 15 minutes so let it do its thing and while you're doing that you're going to want to go download two pieces of software you're going to need the ESSSE or EZ Resigner, and you're also going to need the True Ancestor Resigner. And this is the only way I've been able to get it to work. What would happen, no matter what I do, no matter how I resigned it, it would be a black screen or the game would load, but it would freeze before like the main menu loaded. It would just freeze up with the little origami thing in the bottom right corner. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your Heavy Rain folder, Go to the PS3 game folder, user dir, and now eboot.bin. You're going to want to copy this, put it into the easy resigner folder. Now run easy resigner.bat. You're going to get this sick, awesome, thanks doc colors, and you're going to press A. And now it's going to ask you a whole bunch of stuff. I've tried all of this. The only one that works is by pressing 4, resign to DEX non-DRM. 4. Compress eBoot. I'm going to select 2 for no. So it's finished. Any key to continue. And that's it. We don't need easy resigner anymore. Again, I've tried taking my modified eBoots and resigning them to like 3.55 or the other one. It just doesn't work. It just gives me a black screen. So we don't need that anymore. And we have this new eboot.bin. We can delete the old one. And I'm going to cut this again and paste it into the True Ancestor Resigner. And I'll have links to both of these in the description from the actual like website that they're really from. Not just some like random archive, but I guess I could, you know, if they go down in the future for some reason, I can re-upload them if that, you know, is needed. So now run resigner.exe and it's going to give you this nice little program. What you're going to want to do is decrypt eboot.bin for a DEX. So that would be choice number 10. And that's going to do it immediately and it's going to give you an elf file. You now need some sort of hex editor. I use HXD. You can use anything you want. HXD is probably the best for Windows. And you're just going to drag in that young ELF. So now here's another thing. Typically to enable the debug menu, at least back when I was using Cheat Engine, you would have to modify two memory values. But for whatever reason, at least on my PS3, I cannot get it to load the debug menu. It just, you know, black screens or doesn't load if I modify the two values to enable debug mode that you'd normally would. But I found that if I only modify the one value that enables the playable demo mode and the debug menu, then it will work. So to modify this file, we don't have to do anything crazy. I'm just going to, you know, paste the, the values in the description. What you're going to want to do is go up to search, replace, make sure you're on hex values, and you're going to copy the first this. This will be find. And I'll label this one as replace. And you're just going to hit OK. And it's going to do that. So just hit save. Now I'll go back to Resigner and type 11 in, which is resign to non DRM eBoot. So now your eBoot.bin will be your modified eBoot. So in your PS3 FTP, you just open it up, go to PS3 game, user DIR. Make sure you rename your actual real eboot.bin to something and then drag in the new one. And now all you have to do is use like webman mod to load up the game, you know, get it, get it going and it will work. And lucky for you, you don't have to go through all this stuff because I'm just going to upload this eboot file for you to download. So that'll be in the description too. So that's it. That's how you get the uh, debug menu on Heavy Rain. It used to be way harder. I'm like really actually quite uh, happy about it, like working now on the emulator. And the emulator seems like it's running a little bit better than it used to. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I hope they can get this like more compatible. I hope they can fix a lot of the issues with Heavy Rain because I, you know, wouldn't mind playing it again. Although I'm pretty sure there's a 
PC version now, but PC version doesn't have the debug menu. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. So um, like and subscribe. And next week, I'm going to have a video of me playing Heavy Rain. <laughs>